If you talk about operations, operations is essentially means how to get things done in the best possible way with customer interest in mind. In today's world, we have a lot of data from very diverse sources that can help us to take decisions in such a data rich environment. Let me drive this point home with an example from the business. Let us take a case where there is declining profits of a large retail store. If you have to take this particular decision about how can we increase the profits, we first have to collect data from the past. What really happened in the past? There are diverse sources of data in this particular case. It could be retail data, it could be in-store data, it could be customer data, it could be product data, it could be inventory data, large streams of data available to us today. Can we use all of this data to identify what happened in the past? This is what we call as the descriptive analytics to get insights from the past data. In this particular course, we'll help you how to analyze, how to really merge large data sources, how do you manage large data sources. Not only that, once you did the data analysis, how do you really visualize the data, right? So that is the part of the descriptive analytics to really learn from the past. So let us think about omnichannel. In the case of omnichannel, you have customers, they can buy from any mode. Customers can order online, they can go to a particular store, they can order it via their phone. There are multiple modes of ordering. Not only that, the store has multiple ways to ship the order. The order could be shipped from the another store, it could be shipped from an online DC. Further, the customer could return the products also in any mode. It could be returned from, to the same store, it could be returned online. So there are varieties of degrees of freedom that you have in the hands of the customers today. So in talk about data, you have to really manage the large sources of data and you have to first describe and get some insights from the past. In this particular case, if you think the sales are declining, the sales could be declining because of many reasons. Maybe it was a popular product or maybe it was just particular Friday evenings when the stockouts are happening a lot. So you have to figure out what are the really the features which can relate to the sales lost. Now, the next thing what you want to do is that once you identify the variables or the factors that causes your sales to dip, you have to really not predict when such occasions happen. In those particular cases, we will help to develop predictive models that can help you to analyze when such occasions are going to repeat in the future. So even in this course, you will study about variety of different models, both empirical models, analytical models that can help you to predict such kind of occurrences in the future. Now, once you did the past analysis, which is descriptive, and you also know when this each events are likely to happen, which is predictive analytics, you want to come up with a set of recommendations, set of prescriptions that you can use in the future to improve your business situation. In this particular case, if you want to increase your sales of the particular store, maybe you have to figure out that, hey, what about the allocation? Maybe you have to optimize the allocation across stores. You know what? This store has a very high demand, but the allocation is very low. On the other hand, store B has low demand, but the allocations are extremely high. Can you really balance it? That's optimization or prescription. And we are going to talk about prescriptive analytics in the third part of the course as well. So you can see how the nicely the descriptive, the predictive, and the prescriptive comes together to solve an operational business problem. The world is changing. Today, we not only have IoT sensors, we're talking about blockchain, we're talking about distributive computing, the massive information that we're generating every second. These are some of the emerging areas where we can leverage data to take smart decisions and operations. So join this course to identify and develop your skill set. I would say the course will give you an analytics toolkit which you can use to solve any operations problem in the business. Thank you.